Good morning everyone. Today is one of those weird weather days. Like five seconds ago it was hailing, now it's sunny, it's a bit capulia. Um, I have just been finishing off one of my other vlogs because I realised I'd like missed the end of it. Um, so I spent most of the morning doing that. Now I am ready for a cup of tea. I am craving some tea and biscuits and you all loved my cookie dance so much in one of my previous vlogs. So um, I won't be doing it again, but I will be having cookies again. <laughs> it's actually a Sunday today and usually I would go and see family or hang out with my friends, um, but I've already done all of that this weekend. So I am actually just chilling and doing some stuff myself and um, I've got a bit of work to do so I thought I'd catch up with that. I also have something that is literally like they're calling my name from the other room as I'm talking to you right now. So I'm going to show you what I want to do. I have been saving up all of these boxes to open with you. Now I might do this one separately because I might do a homeware haul. I know kind of roughly what is in that but not everything so I think I might just save that one. These are my Charlotte Tilbury balloons by the way. Love. Yeah, office is a little bit of a state, but I do want to open this stuff with you, so I thought that we could do that together um, to kick off the day. I also have to sort through products. I, I have two suitcases of products in the loft ready to go to the new house. My office was clear, and in the time since I did my last moving vlog, it is completely filled up in here. So um, I need to have a major sort through of the stuff in this room as well. So if I can pack down these boxes, it means they can go in the um, recycling tomorrow. This this little schnook and pie is being a good girl. <laughs> and this is my outfit today. I haven't actually ironed my shirt, so I'm not going to show you it too close up. I don't plan on leaving the house today, but I am dressed. So I just maybe don't look as presentable as I should. I will be wearing this outfit though. This is the first time I've worn these trousers. These trousers are from me and Emma and they're these amazing wide leg trousers. They've got a tiny little split at the bottom and then this like this cream silk stripe and then a tie waist. I popped it with a me and M shirt which is also just kind of like a creamy colour um, to complement it. Super comfortable, super flattering because they go to the floor. If I wear trousers like this they have to go to the floor. And nice and warm as well. This is kind of... Um, Felt? Is that the right? I don't know whether that's the right word, but really happy with them. And these are actually in the sale, so there's not a lot of pairs left. There's only like sixes and fourteens. Um, but these have been sat in my wardrobe for a while, and I didn't really know how to wear them. And then I just whacked them on. I was like, oh, comfy. Cup of tea, and um, let's open some boxes. I am spending the majority of my time at the moment um, shopping and working. That's basically it. I'm struggling to find sofas for um, the new kitchen. Um, it's got like a really beautiful seating area and sitting area that I want to have. And so I'm trying to find like the best option. We have bought a lot of furniture. We've already bought our bedroom furniture and um, like bar stools, which are in there. But we are currently struggling to find some sofas. Um, I don't want to spend too much money because the cats, as amazing as they are, ruin everything. Anything nice we have? So we don't want to spend too much money on them, but we want them to be nice and finding the right colour and stuff like that. So it's um, that's kind of what's consuming me on this Sunday afternoon. So I think I asked in, in one of my last vlogs, like, what is um, your favourite homeware store? If you do have any suggestions, let me know because um, I have, um, I'm loving it. I'm enjoying it and I'm mood boarding things. And it's really fun because I've never, ever done a mood board before. <laughs> Yeah, really exciting, riveting actually. Watch me. Just follow every move. Touch me. Let me know you want it to. Don't tell what you need. were epic by the way. Um, I'm gonna start opening some parcels with... <gasps> Thanks Shelly! I got a tweet a couple of days ago from Shelly Liberty on Twitter and she was like, I've popped something in the post to your PO box um, and she sent 
little mini box cutters because I know how many of you get the fear when I'm opening with like big knives and scissors and stuff like that. Hopefully I don't lose this, uh, but it's gonna come in very, very useful. So thank you so much, Shelly, for that. One of these boxes does contain something really exciting and it means that I've got one to give away to you guys as well. So we're gonna make our way through. Um, this one is... I have no idea, but it's not gone to my PA box, so. Right, oh, this looks sharp, Shelly. You weren't messing around. Let's get into the first box. <gasps> oh my God, I'm so excited about this stuff. So you guys know that I am big into um, my ear jewelry and like designing different kind of like ear stuff. It actually started from an ear cuff that I got sent about, I think it was a year ago now, from Astrid and Mew and um, it was absolutely beautiful. Since that time, sorry this is proper rambly, but since that time I've established, when I had my friends round not long ago, it might have been in one of Ali's vlogs actually, we were all touching each other's ears and it became apparent that I've got really hard ears. Like all my friends, they're like soft and like squidgy mine are like rock solid like that's as much as they'll bend like they are that and that back bit oh my god that's like you can't move that that's that's hard and I loved that ear cuff so much that I went to go and get my ear pierced with it but they advise you not to because um you can't really wear a hoop in it and blah 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 it was why I got this one from Maria Tash um this little garland it, this is super expensive and like one of those things that you just don't take out but I still really love playing around with a style of my ears and I've actually been wanting to put studs in. I saw the new collection from Astrid and Mew. I've actually got some necklaces. So I've got some ear stuff as well, but I've also got a really beautiful stacking like necklace set. So I'm gonna be able to stack it with my wedding necklace because that obviously sits around there, but then it's got this little like pendant with little balls on here. The girl that I met was wearing this and I absolutely loved it. So this will sit really nicely. I tend to usually wear like silver and rose gold nowadays. Um, like I've got my Cartier bracelet. This is a small one. And then I've also got this Pandora bangle that I haven't got any um, charms on at the moment because I actually just quite like it like that, but they're both just rose gold and well, this one's rose gold, this one's silver. So that's what I tend to wear the majority of the time. I'm gonna pop all of this stuff on afterwards and show you, but um, that's the first necklace just there, which is super cute. Then we have in this one, the these, oh my God, I'm obsessed with these. These are little tiny rings. I don't even know if that will show up, but super fine. This is all sterling silver as well. I don't really wear um, costume jewelry because um, sometimes it reacts with my skin. Anyway, these are like super fine, rings that you can kind of stack up that's how i kind of want to wear them is um like stacked kind of like this like separated so it's really like flattering with my um engagement ring and my wedding ring but it's just super delicate i really love like delicate jewelry so i can leave those on <laughs> this is another necklace for stacking i love this because um I'm such a believer in karma and I love how like symbolic this is of karma. So it's just like what goes around comes around. Um, I'm not sure if that's what it's meant to be, but I always find circles quite symbolic of that. So um, yeah, that's another one that can stack with the pendant. This is another stacking necklace. So this just doesn't really have anything on it. It's just these little like beaded chain, if you can see there. Lots of like stacking of necklaces, which I'm quite excited about. So these are the little studs that I'm going to possibly swap out my little huggies for for a little while because I want um, maybe have one ear or something, but I just want more studs in my ear because I find it, well, I just really like the way that it looks. So we're gonna have a play around and like design um, a new little design for my ear using all of this stuff. Those ones are actually rose gold. And then we've got another necklace. Oh my gosh, I didn't realize how many necklaces they did. Now these are their hoops. Now these aren't as small as, um... oh no, these aren't. Ah! Okay, this is the thing that I have been waiting for. Oh my gosh, okay, so these are the new conch cuffs. So I will be wearing this and I love it because it's plain. It's got no diamonds on it because I've got a lot of diamonds in my ears and um, I really wanted like some plain cuffs to go um, probably on this ear because it might be a little bit much with my uh, garland there. But these are tiny sterling silver ear cuffs. I'm gonna put one of these in in a moment when I finish all of this and I'll show you. Um, and they just like slot into that ear. You can like stack them up so you can have like three, four and really sort of give that area a bit of a zhuzh. I know that a lot of you bought the last cuff 
and it was quite you couldn't like move it and that was what I struggled with with my ears being so hard these you can open up and put them on and then close them so that they fit tighter wherever you need them to also I think these retail for like 35 pounds so for solid silver that's brilliant they also come in rose gold and gold so whatever hardware that you want to wear these are great so I'm going to pop those in in a minute these are the one thing that I've been like so excited about and then this is another like rose gold version of the other pendant so it comes in rose gold it comes in gold and it's all solid more studs so that I can play around and have more studs in my ears. These are silver ones. These are some more of the cuffs. So these are the rose gold version. So I might put like a silver rose gold and then silver. So this is an individual um, hoop. So they do really small hoops. They don't do these five mil ones that I've got, which I really definitely think they should do because they're so much more affordable from Astrid and Mew. And they also have this beautiful little detailing of a tiny diamond in the side. So if that was to sit on the top of my ear, on that one, you just see the little glint of a tiny little diamond in there. And much more affordable while still being fine jewelry, which is so important to me. I'm gonna have a play around with those after I've shown you everything else. This is from Karen Millen, and I have no idea what this will be because I've not ordered anything. Ooh, it's very posh comes in this box oh this is so nice hi Lydia I loved all of the content from the workwear piece this shirt just went live so I got one ordered for you oh they know that I love their shirts oh <gasps> literally I was gonna buy this they are so fun that's too funny I was literally gonna buy this oh I love it thank you so much Karen Millen this is perfect look at this pleating detail as well oh aha so this is from Eden Mill and this is a gin brand oh my gosh yeah so this is a I think it's an Edinburgh gin oh they put a name on it oh it's for Valentine's Day oh this is so cute and they put little glasses in sorry I'm not showing you anyone that watches my channel a lot you'll know that there's um a fair amount of gin talk in my videos i do love gin you know how like most gins have a particular garnish well i'm gonna have to do some rummaging and find out what goes best with this one but i might have to treat myself to one tonight where is it gone oh my god i'm so scared that i'm gonna lose the ah, it up there for safekeeping okay next up we have a parcel from elemis I'm saving all of this bubble wrap, by the way, so that we can use it when we move. It never goes to waste. <laughs> oh no, <laughs> it's been ruined. <laughs> this is for their new vegan friendly superfood range. And this is their superfood facial wash, their superfood night cream, and their superfood day cream, as well as their superfood facial oil. Absolutely love Elemis products, so I'm definitely going to be giving these a go. I love, love, love trying new skincare. I'm constantly trying out new products um, all the time. I always try them for like a good period of time, and I don't just use them like one day and be like, yeah, this is amazing. But for me, I love experimenting and changing up my skincare routine and experiencing like new products on my face. So when I'm like, this is an amazing cleanser, but this is also an amazing cleanser, it's because I've tried both of them and um, I have a lot of favorites when it comes to skincare. So yeah, gonna be test driving this as well because um, I do love Elemis products. Ooh, this is from Le Mer, which is a brand that I love. Oh, wow. So they've included an eye mask, which has these beautiful little balls in them. I'm guessing you pop this in the freezer and then you put it on your eyes to cool them. And then they've popped in their eye concentrate, which I have not tried before. It also comes with this, which I'm guessing you use to like massage into your eye area. Definitely gonna be trying that. I love a good eye cream, especially a posh one. <laughs> okay, oh my gosh, I'm so excited about this. Oh! There is only like small amount of these in the country at the moment. This is the GHD 18 karat gold styler. So GHD have been kind enough to give me another one of these to give away to one of you lovely people. So this is really exciting and I love, I've got hair on me. 
I love it when I'm able to receive something that you guys can also receive, so this is really exciting for me as well. Um, all you have to do is follow me on Instagram, it's at Lydia E. Millen, and follow GHD as well on Instagram, and all of that will be linked down below. Um, then all you have to do is upload a picture of yourself either doing your hair, you don't have to be doing it with GHDs, but just doing your hair in your favourite style, or your favourite hairstyle that you may have had in the past. Just upload a picture of it and hashtag Lydia times GHD gold, and that's your entry and I will be picking one of the winners at random. It's open worldwide and um, I haven't really decided on a closing date yet so um, just check the description box for the terms of the giveaway. You'll find it all in there. But how exciting! Look at that. This is amazing. It really is. So good luck to everyone that enters. I am now going to tidy up this absolute mess. I'm going to save this box for my homeware haul, which will be up on my channel really soon. I'm not going to open this on this video. Otherwise, it will be a million years long. Morning, Lummy. You keeping that little spot on the floor warm? Good girl. And then we've got the other one at the bottom of the stairs. Oh, <laughs> good morning everyone. Um, it's now Tuesday and um, I think I left you after we opened some packages together, which is very fun. Um, I still haven't played around with my new earrings. I've popped one of my cuffs in, but um, I want to change these to studs. I think it'll look a little bit better. Maybe this one as well. Um, I've got morning cough. We've been to the gym. I went to the gym last night because I haven't been sleeping that great over the last couple of days. And um, so I actually went in the evening yesterday. It was so annoying though. They've like screwed up the um, the spin class timetable. So last time I got there, it had already started. And then I thought, okay, we'll go there today and it should be fine because I told them. And then when I got there, we'd like missed the entire class. Um, so that was really annoying. But we went and did kind of like a leg workout. And I did, I've never done the body tracks. I think it's called body tracks at David Lloyd, where basically it's got this machine and it calculates all of your like body um, stats and stuff like that and tells you like how healthy you are and your your body fat percentage and your BMI and blah, blah, blah. And apparently I have a metabolic age of 14, which is the lowest you can have on that machine. I'm gonna like get a t-shirt with this printed on. And I've also, what was the other one? Visceral fat rating oh, is one. My visceral fat rating is one. Again, the lowest that you can have. So I'm literally living my best life right now. But also, I've got Carrie in the house with me. We've got some errands to run this morning. Carrie has presents. Yes, yeah, so Carrie has some presents for me because at the weekend I was um, a bit of a legend. I know that a lot of people think that I'm a bad friend to Carrie, but um, I like to think that I'm not too bad a friend. But Carrie tells me I'm a wicked friend, so. She's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> so she's apparently got me some gifts and she told me in the car and I was like, wait, 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 you've got to let me vlog it. So that's what I'm doing. Um, the house is still a mess. I think I'm going to do some more packing today. So first up, we have Carrie's chocolate peanut cookies. Carrie's chocolate peanut cookies. Now these are probably the most epic cookies I've ever had. In fact, we were just in the gym now and our PT was there and he was like, so you know you gave me four of those biscuits? Well, I thought to myself, I'll just have one and then I'll have like one a day and then hopefully she would have like made me some more by then. Did them all in one go. And then he was like livid that she hadn't done another four for him to take on his journey down to London. <laughs> but that's literally what I'm like. I'm like, I'm just gonna have one for later. I'm like, they're gone. <laughs> so I'm gonna enjoy these with a cup of tea later. These, I saw these because like, oh, sit down. Because they are two of your favourite things in crisps and hummus. They are hummus crisps. Hummus crisps? Hummus crisps. Oh my, gluten free, vegetarian and vegan. Yeah, but I just saw them and I was like, they're hummus crisps. Hummus crisps. This one is just because you've been a little bit stressed recently and it's a room and pillow spray. But it's a well-being one. Ooh, nice oh my God, it's got neroli in it. I love neroli. Oh, thanks. Right, chicken, thank you for looking after me and holding my hair back. <laughs> <laughs> Are you letting me tell you them? Can tell them if you want. So we went out on um Friday. I didn't tell them anything. Like that's you telling them. But we went out on um Friday and Carrie maybe didn't eat enough. 
Carrie definitely, Carrie definitely did not eat enough. <laughs> can we just, can we elaborate that it's been like a really, really stressful? Yeah, she said a really stressful one. She, just, she was kind of letting her hair down a little bit and like, um, but definitely we worked through it. It was one of those, it was the day we'd said, Liv had said, let's have the afternoon off. No, 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 too much came in. Yeah. We had loads to do. We carried on working. Didn't even really, oh, we did get lunch. We got ad emergency avocado lunch. Yeah. And, and, nearly, and I'm losing oh, my toenail. You don't even want to see her toenail. <laughs> Look, it's oh like, my god! It's, come, look, look. it's like black underneath. Yeah, oh, no, no, no. Yeah. <laughs> so we had emergency like light lunch at about four o'clock, and that was kind of all we really. Yeah, yeah, day, it was. It? Apart yeah, from the ball in the morning. And she's and, an animal when she drinks as well. She's like, Jaeger bombs, and I'm like, No, Carrie. We didn't have Jaeger, didn't have Jaeger bombs. Four gin and tonics. Yeah, I'd normally have that for pre-drinks. Four gin and tonics. Gone. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely gone. Yeah, so so I had to I, I'm quite scared of being sick. However, I was able to be a good friend for like the first time in my life and I was holding her hair back whilst she vommed into our pa uh, our um cake mix bowl. So we need a new cake mix bowl. <laughs> and the best thing about it was I was staying here afterwards because obviously Ali's in Hong Kong. Lid stayed on the sofa, I got the bed. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so but this but not because that that wasn't because I was being a nice friend. I'm I'm claiming that as you being a nice friend and I'm just like, was, over your bed. So I wasn't gonna tell you guys about this because I thought you might <laughs> think I was weird. But I because when we go to bed, Lumi sleeps with us because when we watch TV, Lynx sits with us and they're not great at like sitting together yet. Sometimes they'll sit together but it's not the best of situations. So at night we Lynx sleeps downstairs on the sofa, this is his little bed here. And Lumi sleeps upstairs. And when I come down in the morning, he's so cute. But I often think how nice it would be to have slipped, like, got to sleep on the sofa with him. So I, when Carrie was upstairs, like, just calm, like, calming down, I came and sat downstairs with Lynx. And uh, I was like, I'm just going to sleep here tonight. <laughs> so I slept downstairs with Lynx. I have the whole bed to myself. <laughs> oh, and the best thing about it was even in my very drunken state and having bombed, she lent me cashmere pajamas. Yeah. <laughs> See, I'm such a good friend. It's not like even I... my mum, even mum was like, they were cashmere that you gave back to Lydia the other night, weren't they? I was like, yeah, yeah. She went, my God, she's a good friend. Yeah. <laughs> Wanted you to be snuggly. <laughs> snuggly in my bomb. <laughs> oh my goodness! You know when a day just is not planning out how you expected it. I'm currently getting ready to go to my first, um, what's it called? My first reflexology appointment. And um, I did have it actually a couple of weeks ago, but I had to cancel it last minute. Starting route to MK5. I have literally spent the entire day, the entire day speaking to Royal Mail. And you know, like when you have those things going on in your life and you're just like, with all of the things that are happening and everything that has to be done in order to like move house, you just think that this one thing could be so straightforward and it just isn't. All we want to do is change our PO box address. That's all we want to do. That's all we want to do. It's taken a month and still I have no new PO box address. It's ridiculous. Hopefully my reflexology appointment will calm me down and um, make today go a little bit better but um, I'm trying to get on a yoga class as well we'll see if that happens but I have to rush and I can't leave you on because I haven't got my um, GoPro set up so yeah I'm gonna get cracking well, I am back from um, seeing my new reflexologist I feel very fancy saying that but honestly I didn't even know what I was going in for um, Carrie got me a voucher to go to her reflexologist for Christmas and I just knew it was kind of generally about feet but you can have it about other things but oh my gosh <laughs> that was so good and like t it just feels totally different to what I would usually feel after a massage like a massage I would generally feel kind of like relaxed afterwards whereas after this I feel like my stress has just completely disappeared. I feel so relaxed and I loved it, absolutely loved it. I text Carrie straight away, I was like, how much does this cost to come once a month? <laughs> so um, yeah, no, I would absolutely do that again. And I only went because, I don't know whether you remember when I went to Glen Eagles, but the, um, the lady that did my massage there, she was like, you would really benefit from having reflexology. So I, I mentioned that to Carrie and she got me the voucher. I had a great one. The house is slowly being taken over by boxes. Um, literally, like, they are just ending up everywhere at the moment. This box 
shorts is actually quite exciting. I ordered these like well over a week ago. Um, these are a set of cushions which I found. I just, oh my gosh, I fell in love with them. Look how beautiful they are. So, so beautiful. I think we got um, four of them for about a hundred and... £50. Now these are for um, the games room. I was going to have them in the kitchen initially but we found a different sofa today which actually these don't go with. What I was going to do was buy more of these so I was going to have four of these in the games room and four of these in the kitchen. Now we only need four in the games room so I don't even know if we need cushions in the other room. I'm going to wait until um, I get sent through the final kind of bits for the kitchen and see what I think. Um, we're looking at accent armchair designs at the moment, but yeah. It's actually Ali's um, brother's girlfriend, Jess, who's helping me now with the kitchen, just because I was really struggling to find sofas. So she's been helping me find some, and I think, I think we have found some, which is very, very good. So I might be ordering those this evening. I desperately need to tidy up my office. It is an absolute mess. And then I think we're going to be having um, pancakes because it's actually pancake day today. So we're going to make some healthy pancakes and have those for dinner because this is like the only day that it's ever acceptable to have pancakes for dinner. Um, but I feel, I feel really good right now.